everybody, it's Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a separator in between your bookmarks in your Safari bookmarks bar. And let me just load up Safari here. And basically, what this does is, is it adds a little separator in between your bookmarks bar. And in case you do not know, your bookmarks bar is this thing on top right here. This thing is your bookmarks bar. And so you can just add a separator in between two of your links very simply. So uh, let's go to any random website. I'll go to Google. And once we're at our website, I'm just going to hit Command D. And that's going to allow us to add a bookmark. And I'll add a bookmark named Upwards Line. I can't even describe that symbol. It's like an upward line thing. It's on your keyboard next to the closed bracket. It's like, an, it's like this vertical line. I don't even know if it has a name. So we'll just call it vertical line character. All right, so I just type that. You can type anything. You could type a, a you could type a dash. Doesn't really matter. Type a slash. Any character you want. So just hit add and we're gonna save this to our bookmarks bar. So we have this slash thing in our bookmarks bar. But right now when we click on it, it goes to Google again because that's the website it's set to go to. So we're going to go into our bookmarks and we're going to go into our bookmarks bar and where the bookmark is that we just created we're going to click once on its address right here and it should say www.google.com which is what I used and it's under the address column. So I'm just going to click once and you should see this now and you'll be able to type in it and we're going to type in javascript j-a-v-a script and then a colon and you can hit return and that's it so now if you did that correctly there should be no image thumbnail if you're using Safari 4 and everything else should just be the same so now if we go to any website again I'll go to Google if we click that nothing happens so that just indicates that we have successfully created our separator. So now you can just drag it wherever you want as a little separator in between your bookmarks that does nothing when it's clicked. Just like that. And if just say you want a more than one separator, just go back into your bookmarks bar and hold the option key while dragging that bookmark we made with the upwards character thing. And then you can see I have more now. I can put one over there, I can put one over there, over there, over there, over there. Put one anywhere. And one of the nice things you could do is you could put one after and before every single link. Like that. So that you have a little more space in between each of your bookmarks and that's it now again when you click nothing will happen alright so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you subscribe thanks